when we install tensiometers, we have several sizes to choose from. The principle is to place the tensiometer in the root zone of the crop. We will demonstrate the installation of the tensiometer by installing this one at the 15 centimeter depth. We have a line drawn on the tensiometer to measure the 15 centimeters. Normally, we would fill the tensiometer a day or two in advance. We fill the water column and would allow the, tens the tensiometer to soak in a bucket of water. Install a tensiometer, we normally apply a mud slurry in the bottom of the hole. When we install a tensiometer, we install it in a mud slurry. We have here a hole that we have already dug for our demonstration. We fill a little bit of water to form the mud slurry in the base. And then we place the tensi tensiometer to our line and fill the rest of the hole, packing the soil down to make sure that there is good contact between the tensiometer and the soil. After being in the field for a short while, the tensiometer may produce bubbles that will rise to the top. These have to be removed to maintain a continuous water column. We do this with a small hand pump. We do this with a small hand vacuum pump, which we place over the tensiometer and draw the air bubbles out. See those air bubbles? Let's see if I can see them. Yeah. Can you, can, you, can you force some air in there so you can... No. One goes one you way. You have to empty it out and do it again. Ah, screw it. Yeah. Another method of measuring soil water is with the gypsum block. Gypsum blocks measure electrical resistance, which we measure with an electrical meter. We will demonstrate the installation of the gypsum block in our hole prepared at 15 centimeters. It's done the same way as with a tensiometer. A mud slurry is prepared and the gypsum block is forced into the hole to the proper depth. And the hole is filled again making sure that the soil is in good contact with the measuring device. The advantage of the gypsum block is that it measures water content over the entire range of available moisture to the crop. The disadvantage of gypsum blocks are that they must all be calibrated and it's unlikely that any two gypsum blocks will be exactly the same. Like the tensiometer, the gypsum blocks should be prepared for installation by soaking them in water for at least 24 hours prior to installation. As the soil dries, the tension on the water column increases. We have determined for our soils here in Obregón that irrigation should occur when the tensiometer reads 60 centibars at the 45 and 75 centimeter depth. We can also schedule irrigation by using the gypsum block. As the soil dries, the electrical resistance increases. We have determined for our heavy soils here in Obregón that when the electrical resistance at the 45 centimeter depth is about 5, we should irrigate. We can see that we're getting very close to the time that we should irrigate here in Obregón.